Hello and welcome to another DG Gaming on Retainment Tutorial. Uh, today we're going to work on XML saving. Um, XML saving is when um, you basically want to save some specific information instead of typing it all out in a text box or something over and over again. It uh, will make your all that content save into an XML file. Um, so right now we will need to go to add new item I'm going to add a new class I'm going to call this save xml I'm going to make it a public class um, above we will need to put using system dot xml that's serial serialization then we need to do system.io okay once we do this we will um, put one static void in here a static function um, we we'll name it save data object i class or class well can do class Object. I'm going to call it OBJ for short for object. String file name. Okay. Now th your object will be the main class or object that you will be s saving the data into. Um, I'll get, I'll actually explain it more fluently in a few minutes. So inside of this function, we will need to do serial or the serial. XML serializer. Uh, name it. So the variable sr equals new XML serializer. Oops. Dot get type. Now text writer writer equals new Steam writer or stream writer file name. Um, sr dot serialize writer obj writer dot close closing the writer. Um, so what we're doing here is we are basically saving the XML file. We are adding all the data inside of our XML file. You're creating a new stream for our file name. Um, serialize. It'll serialize the um, the text and our objects, which we will need to do. Add new item. I want to name this information. Now, uh, I guess we can name it a give it a public class. Okay, so what we need to do here is um, write out private variables of the data you want to save. So I'm going to do private string data 1, private string data 2, private string data 3. Okay, oops. Now we need to do public string data 1, get return data one set data one equals value what we're doing here is um, we will basically save your content inside of this public string and once we save it it'll be say it'll, it'll uh, basically be saved into your XML file through this return data two. It's basically a copy and paste, but I'm just going to go ahead and type it all out, I guess. I'm like, oops. Apparently, I'm not going to explain uh, explanations and everything, but I do know how to do it. So just follow along, and I'll try to explain as I go. 
Okay, this is basically all we need um, for right here. So what I'm going to do here is go to form one. I am going to put in three text boxes. And I'm going to put in a button. Okay, once I do this, oops, I'm into my properties. My name is textbox data one. Name the second one data two. And name the third one data three. Okay, I'm going to name my button create XML or it's a name button create save. Okay, so what we're going to do here is inside of button create, click. I actually did not see that. Going to save this, get rid of this. You don't have to follow this because this is just something I messed up on. Okay, now I'm going to click this. I'm going to be okay. Okay, um, so we have everything set. We have our information class, we have our save XML function, our save data. Now we just need to make it so we can save our XML file with the data inside of these text boxes. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use the try block get exception message box dot show ex dot message. So what the, the try block place basically is it. Um, It'll try whatever is inside of the block, and if it's um, correct, it'll continue. If there's an error, the error will be caught. It'll catch the error, and the error di will display inside of the message box. This is basically another way to um, get rid of the runtime error, so you don't have to. So your program basically won't crash or anything. It'll just show in the error. Um, so what we're going to do here is. We are going to define our information variable. We're going to make a new information class for our new XML save. Then what we're going to do here is info dot data one equals text box data one dot text. Info data two equals text box data two dot text. Info data three equals text box data three dot text. Um, uh, what do I name that? Oh, save XML dot save data. Our object is info. Our file name we can make up any any file name. So I'm just going to name it data dot XML. Now, as I said, the object is our information class basically um, any class would work perfectly if it's a, uh, <clears throat> if you basically have data to input inside of public uh, variables methods whatever um, so let's test this out I'm going to build solution uh, debug. I don't want to go to debug. Okay, so I'm gonna write tutorial, tutorial or data two, and then data three. Or I can just write the name a lot better. All right, I'm gonna click save. And as you see, it saved the XML. I'm gonna edit with Notepad plus plus so you can see what's inside and it saved all the main information but hold on how do we get the information back into the text box when the program starts up 
that is a good question. Um, we can do this on form load. So, um, it's basically the same process as saving a file. You're just using, you're just deserializing the, um, the, the, the XML file itself instead of serializing it. So what we're going to do here is we are going to check if, well, first we need to make sure if we're using system.io, make sure you're using system.io if file.exists data.xml the reason why I'm checking to see if this file exists is because if the form loads and the file does not exist and we try to load it, it'll cause an error. So if file exists, uh, we, we also need to add sys using system.xml.serialization. Uh, I believe that's all we need to add right now. XML.serializer. XS equals new XML serializer type of now type of is going to be type of information the class we are um, we have saved uh, file stream read is new file stream uh, data dot XML which is our file name or uh, file uh, no, it's not file access, it's file mode. It kind of confuses, but it has 15 other arguments it can go through. So, yeah, file mode.open means we're going to open the file. File access.read means it's going to read through the file. File share.read basically means the same thing. It uh, reads through the file. Okay. Um, now we're going to define information info information access. Now we're deserializing it. Read. Okay. Um, oops, forgot to put an equal. So what we're doing here is we are defining our info variable. We are this is adding the information in parentheses tells us or tells the XML serializer dot serialize that the main type of the class is information. Um, to be honest, to be, be completely honest, I don't really know much about this right here. However, I do know how it works. Um, so what we're going to do here is text. We're going to do the reverse of what we did here. Text box data one dot text equals info dot data one. Text box two dot text equals info dot data two. Text box data three dot text equals info dot data three. Okay. Now. Does our file exist? Yes, our file still exists. So what I'm going to do is compile. And now I'm going to run a program. Once I run it, it should load all of this data inside of the text box, or the, inside of this XML file into our text boxes. Yep, and there it goes. It just loaded all in there. Perfectly. Now let me delete the file and show you if the file does not exist. If the file doesn't exist, we need to write new data. Easum faded selig. I'm going to save this. I'm going to close the program out. Okay, let's save the names. I'm going to double click and their names are loaded back in. So uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe. There will be more tutorials in the future. I hope you enjoyed it.